President Trump just finished briefing congressional lawmakers this afternoon about the latest developments unfolding in the Middle East. The classified briefings came just a few hours after the president addressed the nation this morning. Kelloland's Don Jorgensen joins us now from our newsroom with the details. Don? Well, Brady, it's not taking long for President Trump to respond to last night's missile attacks by Iran on two air bases in Iraq where hundreds of U.S. troops are stationed. And even though no American forces were harmed in the attacks, the president is turning up the heat on Iran. President Trump says his administration will immediately impose new economic sanctions on Iran and added that Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon as long as he is president. The American people should be extremely grateful and happy. No Americans were harmed in last night's attack by the Iranian regime. Iran launched more than two dozen ballistic missiles at Iraqi air bases hosting the U.S. military. It's in response to the drone strike last week that killed Iran's top general, Qasem Soleimani. President Trump told members of Congress Soleimani was planning new attacks on American targets, and that's why he had to be stopped. Senator Mike Rounds, a member of the Armed Services Committee, doesn't believe there will be any more troop call-ups for now. The president has made it clear and the American people should know that he's very serious about not getting into an extended war of attrition. Uh, he doesn't want to have more boots on the ground than what he absolutely has to have. Uh, but we're, we will defend the, the, uh, the positions that we do have, uh, but we're not interested in a long-term huge buildup like we've had to do in the past when we were literally going to war and, and uh, 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 trying to do regime change. Soleimani's hands were drenched in both American and Iranian blood. He should have been terminated long ago. By removing Soleimani, we have sent a powerful message to terrorists. If you value your own life, you will not threaten the lives of our people. The president says that Iran appears to be standing down for now. As the president contemplates a response to Iran's missile attacks, House Democrats are expected to vote on a war powers resolution to restrict Trump's military actions on Iran as early as tomorrow. Some Senate Democrats have introduced similar resolution.